Hello everybody, my name is Speak It Fire, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In this episode, we're going to do a little bit of preparation before we head out to the Sand Seas, out uh, past the Western Sands here in Damascus. As you can see, we're going to be using Vaughn as the leader, along with Ash and Fran. Uh, let me just check one second. I just wanted to make sure that uh, they're the lowest um, level characters. As you can see, I was training with Balthier, Bosch, and Pinello earlier. So this time, we're going to be using these guys so that they'll catch up. Um, we don't have everything yet in um, in this guy's uh, inventory. I'm trying to get everything. As you can see, I, I got a shield for for uh, Vaughn right there. But we need everything that he has. Uh, to do that, we need more money. Um, and to do that, we need to do a couple things that we can um, we can accomplish at this moment. Uh, first, let's go over to the uh, teleport crystal. You can, if you want to, you can just walk back to Robin Astro. But I kind of want to just walk, um, use a teleport crystal, even though we have four teleport stones. Well, now three. Well, the main reason that we're using that is because, well, you'll see when I when I do something here. So we'll go back to Robin Astro. Um, you're gonna be talking to the Moogle, uh, Horn, so Mr. Horn. We're gonna go to. Which one's the fastest? Uh, I think the Muthu Bazaar, Bazaar is the closest. Um, well, either way, we're going to go there anyway. Uh, let's see. There should be a merchant here in the Muthu Bazaar that has something that we may need. Um, we might not be able to use it yet, mainly because of the classes, class restrictions. Uh, but I kind of want to get it now. Uh, talk to this uh, guy over here, and he's selling gauntlets for the accessories we don't need that we already have one but we do want the magic that he sells oil and decoy oil increases the damage of fire type um, moves or spells uh, to anyone that's affected and decoy makes it so that enemies are being lured to the person that, ca that was casted um, decoy um, that's very important especially since we have a tanky character like um, well ash is becoming a tanky character um, but Bosch does have a lot of HP so um, we uh, we can if once we're able to use uh, decoy, that's gonna be a good time to start uh, using it on characters with high HPs, so that we can only focus on healing them. Um, anyway, let's go over here to the top, go up these stairs. We're gonna do something else that we haven't done. We haven't well, we went to it, but we haven't really done anything else with it. Welcome back to the clan, uh, the clan hall here in the upper part of Rabbanaster. Um. We so every time you fight enemies, um, you earn something in the clan primer. Uh, so you can see we're now a clan rank rear guard. Every time you beat monsters, special monsters, bosses, all that, your points increase. Doing more hunts also increase your points. Um, there are probably other things that increase it, but um, each rank that you get, you get something from Mont Blanc. Um, and every monster, the big monsters that you fight, you also get something from Mont Blanc. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and talk to him? How fair is the hunt, Koopa? All, you, all, all your membership papers are in order, Koopa. Allow me to give you this to commemorate your joining the guild. I'll have a little something for you each time you attain a new clan rank, Koopa, like I said earlier. We obtained three potions. We could have gotten that a lot, lot sooner, but I completely just ignored it. I wanted to do this now, so keep up the splendid work, Koopa. Koopa Po, you're a hedge knight already. That's one of the lower ranks. It's fine. You've been burning the midnight oil, Koopa. Clan Centurion knows how to treat its hard-working members, Koopa. Here, a reward for your accomplishments. And we gain two more, uh, two warp modes and uh, two teleport stones, which is why I didn't care about using the teleport stones to go back to Rabinaster. Keep up the splendid work, Koopa. And then we got one more. Koopa Po, you're a rear guard already. Uh, Clan Centurion knows, okay, we got, uh, that. so we got three remedies and two more teleport stones. See that? We're up two, uh, up, up four. Um, do you have one more? Here, uh, okay. Here you defeated a, a pack of flans. Impressive. That's one of the boss fights earlier, remember? Impressive, Koopa. The Rabinaster Common Council sends you this with their compliments. And we uh, presented in recognition of labors undertaken to lessen the dangers of the Garam Scythe Waterway. And we have the 150 gil. That's fine. That's money. Also defeat defeated the fireman, did you? Impressive, Koopa. The Rabinaster Healer's Convent, or Covent, send you this with their compliments. Awarded for a collection of samples to be used in the study of certain intractable maladies. We got more money. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's it's chum change at the moment, but you know it's fine. And we defeated the mimic queen too. You've been busy, uh, Koopa, uh, for proving that my dad, 
that my dad, who was in prison in Alabama, was innocent. I don't know how we did that, but we got some money for it. Um, anyway, once that's done, um, once they, he's awarded you enough things, we um, he does offer some uh, hunts. I think these are only available after you beat the Barheim Passage, so you you had access to this a lot sooner than I did. But this is actually the only time that I want to touch um, these because I didn't have any. Like I was too weak before um, um, before we even went to the airship. Uh, here, uh, this cockatrice, a horrible monster, has come to the plains, terrorizing our poor cockatrices. Something must be done. Come to our village with all haste. I will go ahead and talk to them. This person is inside the. I'm sure it's. In the Giza Plains, like a little uh, in the middle, right there. I pointed at the screen, and I realized that that's not really kind of helpful at all to you. Um, let's go ahead and skip that one. We call the vilest of the vile marks elite marks, Koopa. My dream is to see each and every last elite mark fall before the sword of the clan. Um, there's another one here that we can get, which is the Rock Toys. This one is going to be in Brujerba. Um Let's go ahead and see where this is uh, supposed to be. Is it going to be in the bar? Uh, no, it's in that little sky um, place over there. I don't know what that's called. Okay, so they're both elite marks, and they're not called elite marks for nothing. These are actually very tough, especially for the beginning part of the game. I said that the text Sarah was hard, but I'm not kidding about these guys. Um, so first, uh, the Giza Plains ones is kind of easy. because uh, Well, not easy. They're, it's close. So why don't we go ahead and I'll see you guys in Giza Plains, okay? Alright, so we made it here in the Giza Plains uh, village area, the Nomad Village. Uh, Dania is one of um, one of the adults here, and she's actually in here in this cockatrice pen. Let's go talk to her. Are you here about the build I posted? It's high time someone came. I don't know what I'm going to do about this creature. Our cockatrices are terrified. They hardly eat, they won't go for walks, their nerves are shot. The poor deers are starting to fall ill from it. Well, will you get rid of this creature for me? Of course, why would I say no? Actually, I do want to say now. Re wonderful, I had thought you'd say yes. You say, you'd say yes. Now, let me tell you what, what's going on. A vile creature called a Cluckatrice has made its nest in the lands to the east. Recently, its eggs hatch, and now it's viler than ever. What's worse, the Cluckatrice shies away when people approach. It's clever, this one. For our sake and the sake of the Cluckatrices, kill the Cluckatrice and every one of its foul brood. So we're gonna go kill a mama and its babies. Uh, so let's go ahead and look for it. I spotted Cluckatrice on Giza, Giza's north bank. It's not much of a bank during the day dry, uh, but you'll find it in the southeast of the village. The, cluck cluck uh, the Cluckatrice's nest must be near there, but I have no idea how to go about drawing it out from hiding. I try as I might, I, try as I, might, I, might, I haven't come up with anything. Perhaps you should ask the children? They're often out on the plains. Maybe they can help. Okay, let's go talk to the kids. Uh, let's talk to Jin, whose leg is now better. Uh, I like going out to the plains, that's why I never really think of making sunstones at work. Well, I like the plains on the dry anyways. The monsters that come out during the rains are too scary. You were of no help to me, Jin. Goodbye. Uh, there should be kids over here. Let's talk to uh, this guy. This girl, Kamina. Normally, you can go up and down to Kerwan uh, through Giza, Giza, but the rains washed up the tree that's blocking the path. Maybe the next rains... Maybe the next rains would come... Come all, wash it away. That's such strange English. Uh, what about this guy? Did you see the dark crystals on the plains are glowing again? Time to make sunstones. You want to make sunstones too? You should talk to my mom. She's over at the front of the big crystal. Can I do that again? I don't want to do that again, but can I do it again? Uh, seems like everything's costing me more money these days. I gotta have more money if I'm gonna buy anything. Would you uh, talk to my sister for me? Is it... Is it like a little... What is this? Oh, okay, I thought it was like some, qu some quest. Um, these kids are of no help to me. Was there, wasn't there a kid over here? There was a kid over here. Oh, there's a kid right there. Let's talk to her. Or him. Or her? Him? I saw a ball of a yellow bird out in the plains. Looks like a big chick sitting there sunning itself. It was so cute. I went up to try and touch it, and a great big bird came out of nowhere. But I wasn't going to hurt it. Honest. You think maybe it was his mama? Okay, so we got to look for a yellow bird out in the east. Uh, let's look at the map. East is over there. Um, that shining thing is not what you think it is. It's just a sunstone. Uh, this is the Giza's North Bank. So why don't we go ahead and go over there. And let's kill, like, kill us a bird. I need money. Um, this is actually very dangerous. I hate this, this hunt because the Cluckatrice is annoying. It can petrify you when you fight it. 
and when you petrify, you can't do anything. You need, um, you're gonna need this item, which is a gold needle, and I only have one. Oh my god, this is not a good, and I have five remedies. So, it's gonna be a little difficult to actually kill it, because it, I think it has, it has a lot of HP. Um, so, we're gonna try and see, well, there's, there's an easy way to do it. Um, let's look for the thing first. A hyena right here. Where's that big ball of yellow fluff? Is it over here? Maybe I should kill things first, and maybe it'll show up. I think that's gonna be the plan. Let's go kill this guy. <laughs> he just flipped over, okay. Uh, let's get the treasure before we kill the sleeping slaven. Sleeping slaven, yeah. that's a little cute alliteration right there. And everything dies with just one hit. Um, as you can see, Fran is using Libra automatically. I set it so that uh, for the gambit, it's uh, set to, uh, what's it called? Self and Libra. Um, once that uh, once it wears off, she uses it again, so uh, it's quite useful. Uh, let me go kill that. Uh, let me kill this guy. Maybe I have to kill everything and not just a hostile, please. Uh, once you do that, you're going to go over here, run up here, speed it up some. Uh, go through um, one map screen and then go back. And now, there it is. See that? Now, we're going to go attack it. And we're going to get ready. Okay, set it to miss, quickening. And then kill it. And then there's the mama right there. All right, so, use it. Use it quickly. Fuck a twist because I don't want to get um, petrified. Now, right, let's go use... Okay, we're going to use Feral Strike. Uh, we need to use... Um, a we need to use a convergence, which is just an extra attack that happens at the end. Oh my god, nothing happened. <laughs> this is not good. Um, I mean, it's still going to happen um, if we do a convergence. Um, it's because uh, we already did three. I think three is the, um, the minimum. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm going for the fourth one here. I'm trying to see if we can get another one. Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, we got it. Fran to do another one. Uh, and then let's see. Nope, that's not gonna be enough time. Okay. That's five hits. That's that's quite. That's pretty cool. Um, so now we have to make sure that we try to kill this cockroach as fast as possible. Inferno. Uh, is, um, these convergences attack everyone. Like I said earlier, when we used it on the mimic queen. Um, let's do our best to try and kill the cockroach. Yeah. Oh crap! It did not die. Oh, we, we gotta kill this guy. Get him. Kill the. Kill the. <laughs> kill the bird. Because if we don't, it's gonna petrify me. Come on, come on. Keep, keep attacking me, keep attacking me. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Okay. And it, it does have protect, so it's a little strong, uh, a little stronger than normal. Stop attacking it, and it does slow you also. Once it's dead, oh, just a couple more hits. Come on, come on. One more, one more, one more. Come on, stop dodging it. There we go. Now we have to kill every single, um, chick there's three of them they're kind of annoying um, but you have to kill them to finish the mark okay so that's done let's go kill this guy teamwork let's go let's do it um, unfortunately Fran and uh, not Fran Ash is slowed um, this, I don't have haste the spell haste so I can't do anything about that but that's okay um, they're dying soon um, the, the chicks aren't that bad it's it's the, the mama that, uh, that ruins you um, I was really hoping that stone gaze didn't do much on me and it did it didn't uh, which is the best thing there are times when I died because of stone gaze um, I have seen worse runs of this um, this uh, mark and it's uh, this this one's a lot better than I expected so and there's a couple more oh I, I almost got him um, holy crap that guy flew come on one more hit there we go and now the hunt is complete. Like I said, all Fuckatris vanquished. Let's go back to the village and get our reward, okay? Alright, we're back here at the pen of the Cockatrice. Uh, let's go talk to Dania again. You did it! You got rid of the Cockatrice and its chicks. Here's your bounty. Yes, agreed. Thank you so much. What we got? What you got? What you got? Okay, uh, Amber Armlet and Rainbow Egg. Uh, 1,000 gil for us there. Um, I could finally walk the cockroaches again. You wouldn't know it to look at them, but they scare very easily. Okay, so that's that's the hunt. Uh, I'm not going to sell the rainbow egg just 
just yet. Although I think it's it might be a lot of money. Um, but that's pretty much the hunt for uh, the cockatrice. So hopefully you you did not suffer through that battle um, like I had many many times. Um, but anyway, let's go back to the next one, which is the rock toys. We're gonna go to Bajerba, and so I'll see you guys where um, we're at to talk to um, to uh, the patron for the bill. Okay, I'll see you guys there. And here we are at the Coos Sky Grounds here at Bajerba. Uh, Pelika is this little Moogle over here. Uh, let's go talk to him. You have spoken with Mont Blanc, Koopa. You will accept my request. You will hunt the rock toys, Koopa. Oh, thank you, Koopa. I always knew it pays to have friends. I am Pelika. Me and Mont Blanc have been friends for a long time. That's why I went to him. You see, it's kind of embarrassing, but I had this rock toys I was keeping as a pet, Koopa. But he ran away. I had given up on finding him. Then I started hearing the rumors about a giant titan toys wreaking havoc in the mines, Koopa. Then I realized, it's him, it's my pet. I just know it. My little toys slipped into the mines and, and he absorbed magicite energy. And, and he got all big and violent, Koopa. I'd go get him back myself, but the mines are awfully big. I'd get lost, Koopa. I'd get a friend to help, but I'm so embarrassed. That's why I wrote my blank and here you are. And my little rock toys, well, he's not little. But he's in sight two of the Lusu mines. Go get him. All right, we're gonna get this rock toys. Uh, remember where Bagaman um, saw us, I guess, for the first time um, in the Lusu mines. That's where we're supposed to go. Um, so uh, we're gonna go through the Lusu mines, and at this point, you you should have gone through the Lusu mines multiple times already, uh, especially because it's a great place to train. It's a great place to get money. Um, I mean, if you're if you if you wanted money, that's the best place to do it. Uh, so you should have had experience uh, going there, so you should know where to go. Uh, so I don't need to show that on screen. So I'll see you guys when I get to the place where ro the rock toys is. Okay. Okay. So we're in the spot here, the site two of Lusu Mines, and you can kind of see the butt of the <laughs> rock toys right there. So the rock toys will reflect your physical attack, so you're gonna get hurt. Uh, let's go ahead and see that um, in action. Um, so what we're gonna do? Is we're, we had to cast magic on it, but I don't have magic, um, which is the awful part. So we'll just try and see what we can do. Holy shit, he's using that a lot. Um, let me use that before he kills me. Okay, let's go use the quickening before he, he, he I die. Okay. Oh crap. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did I use I it? I used it on the thing. <laughs> Okay, I used it on the, <laughs> the skeleton. He should be dead. Okay. Um, we're gonna use it on... Shit, okay. <laughs> Come on. This is so dumb. Um, we're, we're just gonna keep fighting. Um, let's go. <laughs> who's, who's targeting who? Okay. I don't want Vaughn to be targeted. So there is a way to um, attack it safely. If you just keep kiting it this way... It's it's really slow. There's really no point for you to get attacked if you're using um, range attacks, but it still it still reflects some of your uh, attacks on you. So why don't we do that? We're gonna go to Velthier, and then let's do it again. Okay. So let's go ahead. Use Mist, Quickening, Feral Strike on the Rock Toys, please. Thank you. Not the <laughs> not the skeleton. Um, let's use uh, Fires of War. That is a good way to do it. Um, you can use two rounds of, um, what's it called? Uh, I'm just focusing. So, oh, okay, we can't get it, unfortunately. Um, two rounds of uh, quickenings if you just switch out your party members. So it's kind of easy um, that way. And we couldn't get it, unfortunately. Uh, we got four, though, so at least we're going <laughs> to gonna activate a convergence and kill off that last skeleton over there. And we'll we'll do what we can. Um, Miss Charge again. Use it twice. There we go. More Nordswain's glow, or is it Nordson? Nordson? Because Coxswain is spelled Coxswain, but you say Coxson. So Nordson, Nordson, Nordson. <laughs> I don't know old English, but we were able to activate another one for Balthier. Let's see if we can get a lucky one. Miss Charge. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. We got, we got another one. We're gonna use seven. Good. I don't want to deal with this rock toys. It is kind of cheap. Though. I'm, I'm using quickening. It's just easy. Um, like I said, it's so I difficult. Oh crap! We can do anything. Um, so difficult at this point of the game, especially in the, in this version of the game, 
Because at this point, if you were in the original um, Final Fantasy XII, you have options. Um, you have options to use uh, different things, uh, uh, like spells. So we were able to do that in the original one, but not anymore, unfortunately. So, okay, he's not dead. That's not good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run around here, just try to attract his attention. And Ash is now being targeted, so we're gonna move around. We'll we'll have um, these guys do uh, ranged attacks on it, which is fine. Uh, there we go. I'm just gonna attack it. I'm um, just gonna keep running away, and he's not gonna catch me. Ha ha ha! You're so slow. What you doing, little tortoise? What you gonna do, huh? He's gonna run around in circles, and you can't do anything. <laughs> this is so cheap. Uh, there we go. And I did the <laughs> I did the killing blow. <laughs> That's so convenient. The Rock Toys has been vanquished. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna see uh, meet you guys at the um, back at Pilika. Okay, I'll see you guys there. All right, we're back here at the Ku Sky Grounds. Let's talk to Pilika again. Come on, talk to him. All right, come on, <laughs> let's talk to him. Thank you, Koopa. What a pal, Koopa. And look, my pet has learned his lessons to come back home. No, oh, look at it, it's so tiny. Carbo, thank the nice young gentleman, Koopa. Ah, look at him. Oh my god, that's so strong. Yes, uh, my pet, his, my pet, his name's Carbo. I know, Koopa, I know. It's not good to keep a pet in secret. I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm going to move to some place where we can both live in peace, Koopa. Here, accept this as a token of my thanks. And thank Mont Blanc for me, too. What's he got? And it's a uh, 1200 gil, which is good. High potions, which is always nice. Survival vest. Uh, that's I've never. Do I get to equip one of those? Uh, what, what kind of weapon? Uh, <laughs> weapon. Uh, it's a light armor. And actually, I think Balthier can do it. Uh, but actually, I want, I want the windbreaker though. It, this is a lot better <laughs> than the windbreaker, but we're gonna keep the windbreaker for now, okay? Um, but yeah, so now that those two hunts are done, we're gonna go back to Mont Blanc. Just a second. Alright, we're back at the clan hall. Let's go up to Mont Blanc and see if he has anything to say to us. Let's go talk to him. How fierce the hunt, Koopa? Koopa Bo? I'm sorry, I, I don't have any hunts for tell you about at the moment. Oh, great. Um, do, okay, so I thought he was gonna give me anything else. Uh, this is McEnroe. Uh, nothing. I don't have any questions. Does he... Hunting the Wyvern Lord, hmm, that's in Nam Yensa Sansi, the northwest reaches of my guest. Now go. Okay, uh, about your clan rank, when you've defeated 8 marks and accumulated 20,000 points, you'll get a rank. Now go. Okay, so I guess that's kind of useful. Um, nothing, I thought he was going to give me something, but I guess not. Uh, why don't we just go head back to the Delmasca Western Sands then, okay? Oh my god, I'm using too many of my teleport stones. That's fine, that's fine, I'll see you guys there. All right, we're back at the uh, Wester Sand outpost here. Um, I did sell everything that I got from the Lusu mines, uh, and with all the money that we got from the hunts, we were able to get ten thousand gold. Um, well, seven thousand gold, really. Uh, I got three thousand earlier. Did you just push me, Mr. Desert Merchant? Um, but now, with that money, we were able to get all the remaining things that we needed from this merchant. We got all the updated. Um, the most improved weapons, the strongest weapons and weapon, um, the weapons and armor. So everybody, and also um, people who are able to equip windbreakers are able to equip it. And you'll see that in the next few, um, not in the next episode, but in a future episode, you'll see why we need those windbreakers. Um, but other than that, I got everything that I need. Um, I know this is a short episode mainly just because I've been. Um, this is a very uh, side questy. <laughs> is that even a word? Uh, Psycho is heavy uh, episode. Um, but I guess this gives me a chance to talk about my uh, customization here in the license board. Uh, for Vaughn, I got everything that I need here at the bottom. I got, I'm got i getting the last little bit of HP here. Um, I got the swiftness up here from the gambit section. And now I'm going to make my way downtown <laughs> to the side, uh, to the right side. And we'll get um, all the strong ones, like especially the shield block. Since I'm making him equip shields. Uh, we'll, we're gonna grab those. Uh, the next one is Balthier. We are a um, we got the last little bit of HP here, so he should not die as quickly as um, like I mean he doesn't drop of the you know he won't drop that quickly anymore. Uh, we're gonna make our way to the right also. Um, picking up a couple things here. I know there's a 
special one over here. Swift this all the way to the right. Because uh, everything else we got. Um, that's really important for a friend. We're heading down here to get the swiftness one over here uh, We got all the HP's uh, ones up here. We're gonna ignore all these um, extra uh, Quickenings um, for the most part and then after that we're gonna head up here to get the battle lore uh, as well as of some of the other uh, tre uh, not treasure Accessories uh, Bosch I'm getting this swiftness uh, node over here, and then we're gonna make a um, our way to the right, also in the right corner, to get uh, all these uh, passive uh, abilities over here. There's a lot of juicy ones over here. Um, for Ash, we're just making our way to the right side here. Um, also, lots of good, uh, uh, good abilities on the right side. Um, the rest is just his, her weapons, really. Uh, the uh, and over here is just her equipment. We're not going to touch that for a while. We're going to focus on the right side here. For Pinello, I'm just grabbing this battle lore right here and his HP. Before we get the rest of the HPs over here, there's a lot of HP here. And we need it, especially when we get her next uh, class. So, um, yeah, that's my plans for, for these guys. I, I'm doing really well, I think. Um, especially when we're planning all this out. So, other than that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? See you guys.